Our groundbreaking multi-camera system hasn't just brought movie technology to mobile, it's made it ridiculously simple to use. For the first time, Live Focus brings special effects to video. Our depth vision camera means you can adjust the blur and your videos will look just as amazing as your photo melds seamlessly to minimize bezel. Say hi to Galaxy Note 10 and 10 Plus. New design. This year's Note lineup is all about incremental updates rather than big jumps. The phones still have the slightly sharper corners that are standard for the past notes, but the bezels are much thinner and the ratio is a taller 19 by 9 one like on the S10 series. In fact, the top bezel is barely big enough for the earpiece and a few sensors, so it'll be interesting to see how it fares in terms of audio. The front camera, however, is in a centered punch hole and whether it's a good or bad thing is entirely personal preference. First, there's no longer a Bixby key and the power button has been moved to where Bixby used to be. Don't worry, however, you can still call up the assistant by long pressing the home button. Second, there's no longer a headphone jack. While there's still an FM radio and there's a dongle in the box, it's sad that even Samsung has jumped on the industry trend of getting rid of this port. Better S Pen Functionality Despite the loss of the jack, the S Pen hasn't only remained but includes even better functionality. It now includes remote, motion-based gestures called air actions. These let you change between camera modes or between the three cameras. HDR10 Plus Display The two notes have dynamic AMOLED displays. The vanilla Note 10 is smaller than the S10 Plus with a 6.3-inch Full HD display, while the Note 10 Plus is larger than the S10 Plus with a 6.8-inch QHD screen. Did you spot the drop in resolution for the Note 10? It's not as bad as it sounds in real life. Upgraded internals The Note 10 pair has received a slight boost in GPU performance in comparison to the S10 series, thanks to a new Exynos 9825 chipset. However, it's not really a considerable jump. The two phones will also get 5G models, so you can choose whether you prefer 4G or 5G software. The Note 10 phones have Android Pie with One UI on top, but there are some nifty new features, like a better default video editor and AI improvements for their gaming mode. Of course, we'll explore them more in depth in the full review. Larger battery. Despite the S Pen, Samsung has managed to cram a 3,500 mAh battery in the Note 10 and a 4,300 mAh one in the Note 10 Plus. This is more than both the S10 Plus and the Note 9 from last year. Faster charging. Both regular and wireless charging have been improved. The Note 10 Plus can go up to 45 watts, while the vanilla version can go up to 25 watts. However, Samsung doesn't include a faster charger that supports these speeds in the box, so you'll have to buy one separately. The Notes also include reverse wireless charging, like on the S10 phones. Triple camera setup. Though this is a jump up from the Note 9 from last year, this year's triple camera setup is extremely similar to the one that you'll find on the S10 phones. The telephoto has a slightly brighter f2.1 lens, and there's a new time-of-flight camera on the Note 10 Plus for scene-depth scanning. But we'll need to do a shoot-off to see if there's truly a jump in camera performance between the Galaxy S phones and the Note 10 lineup. New colors. The Note lineup comes in four new colors. Aura Glow, Aura Black, Aura White, which is a Note 10 Plus exclusive, and Aura Pink, which is a Note 10 exclusive. Aura Glow is our favorite, and even a slight tilt or change in angle changes the color of the surface dramatically.